Hello guys and gals and welcome! So today I wanted to cover another tool on uh, d2runewizard.com which is uh, the Terror Zone Tracker. Um, I've been using it to uh, keep track of the Terror Zones because I don't want to mess out on those juicy juicy sweet cow levels, world stone keeps, chaos sanctuaries, and even the loot go land sewers. Um, all of those are among my favorite uh, terror zones. And uh, of course, you're not always online and you can't always see what the current terror zone is. But um, basically what this is, uh, is it is a terror zone tracker, uh, which allows you to track the terror zones and, and, you know, know what the terror zone is when you're offline. Now, right here, you can see that this is an updated thing by players. So you can click change zone and you can change it. Um, you can also update it yourself. So if you want to be part of the solution, um, you can, of course, say, OK, well, I'm in the game right now. I see that it's Lost City, Valley of the Snakes and Claw Paper Temple. Um, so it looks good. So I'm going to confirm the terror zone. And as you can see, it says, thank you for confirming the terror zone. Um, there are a lot of people who have actively maintained this. As you can see over on that side, we have quite a few active users. Um, I am on the list right now. Um, well, that's a pretty long list of active users, mind you. And um, not only does it show you the Terror Zone, um, it also shows you the immunities for the Terror Zone. So right now we have here that this Terror Zone is Fire, Cold, Lightning, Poison, and Magic Immunes. Um, of course, Magic Immunes being the Zombies. Uh, it also tells you what super uniques are currently inside the zone. So we have Dark Elder and Fang Skin. Uh, Dark Elder is always in Lost City, and Fang Skin is always in level 2 of Claw Viper Temple. Um, and then, of course, we have the boss packs, so the number of boss packs per zone. So this one has about 21 to 28 boss packs. And the reason is is because it includes Lost City and Claw Viper Temple, levels 1 and 2. So it's a pretty large zone. You know, it's basically three different zones. Um, the Valley of the Snakes doesn't really have a whole lot of monsters in it. It's practically nothing. So it's pretty much just the Lost City, Claw Viper Temple Level 1, and Claw Viper Temple Level 2. Uh, but, uh, you know, this this little tool is actually really nice because it, uh, you know, allows you to keep track of the zone outside of the game. Um, and if you scroll down, there's some more interesting information down here, like uh, people voting on which ones are their favorites. Uh, what are your favorite terror zones? Well, Moo Moo Farm and Chaos Sanctuary World Stone Keep are definitely amazing. Uh, Tal Ross's Tomb is really good. Not really a huge fan of Traven Call. It's just too small. I don't really like the pit either. And um, although Arcane Sanctuary seems nice for solo farming, it's terrible for group farming. Everybody just gets in each other's way. Um, honestly, the one on this list that's probably not the very high that a lot of people have slept on so far is the um, sewers in Act 2. Not the Karas sewers. The Karas sewers is garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. Um, I am talking about the Act 2 sewers, which is pretty amazing. I actually really like that. Uh, sewers Act 2 is really nice. You don't sleep on that one. Um, a lot of these are garbage. Uh, Flare Jungle's okay. Flare Jungle's okay. Uh, Spider Forest, however, is not. Uh, River of Flame, a City of the Damned, is, is mo moderately okay. A lot of these are just plain bad. Like, Spider Forest is horrible. Um... I mean, Far Oasis has a lot of beetles, so I'll add that one to the list. Um, and then if you go down a little bit further, um, you know, it has information on what the Terror Zones actually are. Um, this is information that was in the patch notes, so this is pretty much just copy and pasted. Um, that way you know that it is correct. Uh, of course, it also goes over the fact that monsters have increased treasure class. So, you know, if you want to come here and learn about Terror Zones, we have some of that here. Um, also, the fact that the Sunder Charms only drop in the Hell versions of the Terror Zones. Uh, but if you look down here, we have another really interesting thing, which is um, what immunities are in those particular areas. So Bloodmore is only fire and cold. So if you're lightning, if you're poison, uh, you know, if you're magic or whatever, there's, there's pretty much no monsters in here that are going to challenge you. Uh, how many sparkly chests are in this particular area? So there's one sparkly chest in the cave. Uh, those are the super chests. Um, Burial Grounds, Crypt, and the Mausoleum, it's literally only lightning. Like there's just lightning immunes in there. Um, Blood Raven and Bonebreaker are the two super uniques, so it tells you which super uniques are in the zones. Uh, Bishy Bosch and Cold Crow, Blood Raven and Bonebreaker, so forth and so on. And, uh, you know, you get a better idea of, like, kind of what's going on in those zones, whether there's a specific monster that you should be hunting down, um, how many boss packs are in those specific zones. Like, you can see Jail has 18 to 24, but Jail is also three levels, so... <laughs> it's a little, little, little much. Some of these zones, like Flare Jungle, literally have every immunity 
um, between fire, cold, lightning, poison, magic, and physical. Um, whereas some of these zones are far easier in terms of immunities, like the pit is only fire and cold. Um, Tristram is just way too small. As you can see, it only has five to six boss packs uh, versus something like Dark Wood, which is seven to nine, which is also a single zone area. Um, Burial Grounds, the Crypt, this is three different areas, so that one doesn't really count. Uh, but Cold Plains in the Cave is 13 to 16, and that's two areas. Um, as you can see, Talrosh's Tomb and Talrosh's Chamber is 49 to 63 boss packs. Uh, every immunity is in here. However, they are nice and densely clustered, and uh, it really does make for a very nice zone. Um, and it, it kind of goes over everything here with this. And... Um, and this is the Terror Zone Tracker leaderboard. Uh, so this is the number of people that have been updating the Terror Zones since the beginning of Ladder. As you can see, some people have literally like 382 updates. They have been working at this pretty tirelessly. Um, as you can imagine, it updates every single hour on the hour. So it needs to be fixed every hour. And uh, as you can see here, here's the current list of people that have been working on it, you know, verifying that it is correct, and you can report them if they've been doing it wrong. Um, and then we also have the Terror Zone history, which is pretty cool, so you can kind of see, like, what the zones have been in the past couple hours. So as right now, we have um, Act 2, uh, it was Lost City Snakes, then it was Kuras, Glacial Trail, Flare Dungeons, Sewers, Stony Field, Crystalline Passage, Bloody Foothills, Forgotten Tower, and Burial Grounds again. Uh, with the mausoleum. So um, in the past, you know, certain number of hours, and we can we can go back even further if you'd like to pull this data for, you know, for specific purposes. Uh, maybe you just want to load up all the previous days and see how many times it's been Worldstone, see how many times it's been Chaos, etc. So you can get an idea of when the next one is coming. So it looks like we had a Worldstone keep at uh, 1,600 hours on uh, November 3rd or November 2nd. Uh, 1600 hours, would that be like middle of the night? Can't even remember. Um, do, 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 what is it? Dun, 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 dun. I guess after I went to bed, huh? Oh, sadness. Because it was, uh, it was dark wood, then it was far oasis. Oh, no, no, I was there for that one because it was, uh, Worldstone, then it went to Tristram, then it went to Ariat Plateau, yes, then it went to Outer Steps. And uh, Neilfax Temple, then it went to Spider Forest. That's when I went to sleep. Um, and I was hoping that I wouldn't end up with nothing too amazing in between now and then. And it looks like I wasn't disappointed. So uh, it went to Dry Hills, Arcane, Stony, Ancient's Way. Really nothing good in between those. Like, not <laughs> just touch. Those aren't really all that amazing as far as EXP is concerned. Um, not really sad I missed any of those. Uh, except for Sewers. Oh, that's Act 2 Sewers. Oh, no, I missed Act 2 Sewers. At seven o'clock, okay, that was that. Now I'm a little bit sad. Act two sewers is pretty good. Kuras sewer sucks. Or er, yeah, Kuras sewer sucks, but Loot Go Lane sewers is actually really nice for EXP. I like I like farming that one. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of good information to be had here. Uh, whether you're looking for boss pack information, immunity information. Whether you're looking for the, uh, you know, like the, the kind of like a, a, a log of all of the terror zones to see when the last time a terror zone happened. Like, for instance, Worldstone Keep hasn't happened in a while. So there's a pretty good chance that we're going to get Worldstone Keep sometime soon because it just hasn't happened in such a long period of time. I feel like um, there's a pretty big gap in between usually when Worldstone Keep or like Moo Moo Farm and stuff happen. As you can see, the last time Worldstone Keep was on, it was. Um, the first at 10 o'clock and then the next time that world stone keep happened was the second at around 1600 and then we haven't had one today yet so we're waiting on our world stone keep today um it looks like world stone keep tends to happen about at least one time a day uh the moo farm was uh on the 2300 hours and on the first and everybody likes it with moo farm oh man there was two moo farms like back to back look at that 2300 and what? God bless it. I missed. I must have missed that one. I don't remember there being two Moo Moo Farms right back to back like that. <laughs> um, anyway, if you guys are interested in utilizing this tool, um, this is a very nice tool that you can pull up on the website. Um, I believe there are also integration options. Um, if you click on this link right here, 
Uh, you can integrate with the uh, tracker. So there is an overview of the APIs so that you can easily access the data used on the site so you don't have to scrape the web page. Um, and, uh, you know, I, you obviously you would want to actually make sure you give a little bit of credit to the, the web page that's providing you the information. Uh, but if you'd like to get an API hooked up uh, for whatever reason, maybe you want to get it in Discord or something of that nature, um, it definitely would be nice to have an integrated system where it would constantly update and tell you what the new Terror Zone is. Um, I'm going to have to look into this to see if I can get this integrated into my own Discord. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, I hope you guys are uh, excited to have a tracker that tells you what the freaking zones are. Who wants to miss World Stone? Like, really, seriously. I mean, I'm not even joking. Who wants to miss World Stone? It's very sad. It's so sad I'm ending the video right now, because if I missed World Stone, bye.